Hi, this is Dr. Bertolo Meshku, the medical futurist. In the last few episodes, we've talked about a lot of big ideas like quantum computing and AI development that will definitely turn our lives upside down, but they are still years, if not decades away, before we feel their true impact. So today, I want to talk about the present by giving you one practical step of how to improve your health, starting tomorrow morning. I guarantee you that sleep tracking will change your life. Let's start with a lesser known feature of it that I call the holy grail of health tracking, the smart sleep alarm. I'm gonna change your life now. You know the difference, waking up feeling energized, being ready for a great day, or waking up in need of coffee and hours to get into the rhythm of the day. Everybody knows this feeling and the difference. But not many know that we can gain control over this with a smart sleep alarm. Because the real difference between these two experiences, waking up from a light sleep or waking up from a deep sleep. If you track your sleep, you can see the data yourself. That might be just two minutes between the two stages. But you can't tell because you're asleep. When you use a smart sleep alarm, it's like having a very smart elf sitting on your nightstand that can tell exactly what sleep stage you are in and it will give you that extra time to shift into light sleep before gently waking you up. I know it sounds creepy, but trust me, your entire morning routine will be different. This is exactly what my smart sleep alarm does. I wear my smartwatch that has this function. Based on the movements of my non-active arm, I'm right-handed so I have to wear it on my left arm, it analyzes my sleep patterns live. When I go to bed, I determine between what times I would like to wake up tomorrow morning. It's usually 5.40 and 6.10 a.m. for me, so I give it 30 minutes. Then the watch monitors my sleep, and when I enter this time frame in the morning, it is looking for light sleep patterns, so it can wake me up with a gentle vibration. No snooze is needed, as it feels easy to wake up. If I stay in deep sleep for the entire period, it wakes me up at the last moment of the time frame at 6.10 a.m but it rarely happens. So if you want to have this in your life, here is where to start. Personally, I use a Fitbit Ionic device, and as the Fitbit app allows the use of third-party apps, there is an app within Fitbit that is called the Smart Sleep Alarm. I launch it before I go to bed, set the time frame, and click Start. That's it. As far as I know, the Apple Watch also has this function, and some other trackers I have not tested yet but you can find the link under this video where I listed other methods too. This is something you can do right away, as anyone with a smartphone can use apps that do something similar. It's always more precise with a tracking device on your hand, but even using an app is a good start. But it's one thing to wake up feeling energized. Sleep tracking goes way beyond that. Healthy sleeping is the absolute basis of a healthy life. Yet we cut corners at every turn. We are eager to trade sleep for a few hours of wakefulness whenever we have a deadline coming up or a party going on. It's the first thing to go whenever we are pressed for time. And sadly, we are looking at it as a luxury. We all know the saying, I will sleep when I'm dead. Well, not to be too grim or anything, but whoever thinks that is also rushing it. Sleep is our most precious resource, and whenever we are trading it away, we are unknowingly paying a cost for it, and a high one too. Sleep deprivation is linked to several conditions that slowly and gradually undermine one's health, like cardiovascular diseases, diabetes or obesity. And since we are developing these maladies over a long period of time, at the end we might not even make the connection that it's all due to how poorly we sleep. And we can even prove how dangerous it is to take away just one hour of our natural sleeping schedule. In the spring, when we lose one hour to daylight savings, we see a 24% rise in heart attacks. It's a huge number. You can easily call sleep deprivation a silent killer. Just hear Matt Walker talking about it in his now famous TED Talk. So here in this experiment, you're not going to have your sleep deprived for an entire night. You're simply going to have your sleep restricted to four hours for one single night. And then we're going to look to see what's the percent reduction in immune cell activity that you suffer. And it's not small, it's not 10%, it's not 20%. There was a 70% drop in natural killer cell activity. 
Isn't it frightening? Our immune system becomes vastly deficient after just one night if we cut our sleeping schedule short. I will let him scare you a bit more. In fact, the link between a lack of sleep and cancer is now so strong that the World Health Organization has classified any form of nighttime shift work as a probable carcinogen because of a disruption of your sleep-wake rhythms. See, sleep loss is linked to cancer, Alzheimer's, and it even changes our DNA, the building blocks of our bodies, for a worst. But not to be all doom and gloom, we can also look at all this from another angle. In the fall, when we gain one hour to daylight savings, we see a 21% decline in heart attacks. That's just as remarkable. So the good news is, it does work both ways. With better sleep, we can help and heal our body. We just had to think of it as our body's natural pit stop, or the way Matt Walker puts it, as our superpower. As I talked about it in previous episodes, if we want to stay healthy and live to 100 years, we have the power today to take steps and not leave it to chance. We can take care of our nutrition and exercise with plenty of dedicated apps and tools. And we can take more advanced steps to get our microbiome tested to develop a diet that fits past our digestive system. We can even get our genome sequenced to create a preventive health plan in order to tackle our inherited maladies. But simply tracking and managing our sleep is probably the easiest thing to do. And as I showed it, it might just be the single most important aspect. So how do we get a better sleep? I've been tracking my sleep for eight years almost every night. During this time, I've learned all the tricks I need for a good night's sleep, as well as all the mistakes I can make to ruin it. If I exercise late, drink a brown beer or check my phone before going to bed, it's definitely going to be a bad night. But if I exercise before the afternoon, read a book before falling asleep and eat well before 7 p.m., I'm going to have a good night's sleep. But everyone has different bodies and different needs. Just think of the general rule that it's fundamental to have eight hours of sleep every night. It's simply not true. Some people need more, some need less. That's where sleep tracking comes into the picture. You can track light and deep sleep. Record if you snore, if you talk in your sleep, or have sleep abnormalities. You can learn a lot about yourself and how well you sleep. Through sleep tracking, you can experiment and design sleep habits that gradually help you have a better sleep. For example, you can set your room temperature to be colder, as it vastly improves sleep quality, and see the results in the morning. You can meditate before going to bed and see how much more time you spend in deep sleep during the night. You can simply measure the sleep quality, find a problem, and change it for the better. It's an amazing innovation that we can do all that, but as you can tell, it's also a slow and intimidating process where you have to handle a lot of data, have to be flexible, and need to design your life around this little experiment. That's why I usually recommend to just start with the smart sleep alarm. It's easy and it's guaranteed to improve your mornings from day one. It's one of those things that once you try, you will have no idea how you lived without it. I think that's where you should start. And then hopefully, once this little tech proves itself and you wake up each day feeling refreshed and energized, it will be inspiring and motivating enough for you to dig deeper, start tracking and improving your sleep, to essentially improve your health and well-being. Sleep tight. If you want to hear more about sleep and health tracking, please subscribe here.